Hugh Clarence Trot. Why, Why Hugh? Colonel Hugh X. Lewis. The old Colonel Hugh X. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's good to talk to you. Happy New Year to all the Farron and Scott listeners, too. In the old days, fellas, when, when I came to Nashville, I came playing piano, trying to impersonate Jerry Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> and In when the old I got days. an interview with Paul Cohen, I was in his office, and he said, well, let me see what you can do, son. I walked over to the piano. And I started singing, Fools Like Me, <laughs> just yeah. like Jerry Lee. <laughs> the best I could, you know. Right, right. yeah, right. yeah, sure. yeah. And he said, son, he says, there's only one Jerry Lee Lewis. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you play a guitar? And I said, yep. He said, well, from now on, forget about that piano. <laughs> he said, if you can sing like Hugh X. Lewis, I'll, I'll sign you. It's that record. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so he signed me and Mel Tillis and Billy Ed Wheeler and Cal Smith and Freddie Hart. Wow. Okay. But at the DJ convention in those days, and Baron, I'm sure you came to some of those. I did. Me and Mel and, and uh, Billy Ed and Freddie and, and Cal Smith. We had to wander in the wilderness because <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't rent a reception room for us guys, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we talked to anybody we could. <laughs> yeah, stop them in the hallway, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was at one of those motels at the DJ convention, and I looked down the hall, and here came Al Embry and Jerry Lee. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Well, now, Jerry Lee had heard my songs on radio, of course, and he knew who I was, and Al probably said, that's you, that's Lewis. Well, as he came by, Jerry Lee kissed me on the cheek and said, God bless you, and just kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Al, I said, Al had booked me in the early years, as he was my booking agent before he took on Jerry Lee, but... I said, Al, he's straight as a judge. <laughs> and, and I said, yeah, and I can't stand it. <laughs> 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 I said, what you doing here? He said, well, Mickey Gillett was supposed to do the Playboy show, and Mickey had to be out of town, and Jerry Lee came to fill in. Oh, oh okay. yeah. That's yeah. what he was doing there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you want to come to see the show? And he said, if you want to come back, he said, you just knock on the door and tell the doorkeeper who you are. And when I got back and knocked on that door, it opened, and the people came pouring out of that room. And I knew something was wrong. Well, what had happened? Jerry Lee had poured too much lighter fluid on the piano keys oh, <laughs> after he had chained great balls of fire, you know. Mm -hmm. And when he had lit it, it was standing room only, of course, in that room. And those people got scared. Some of them did, because they'd never seen that act before. <laughs> 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 Stampede. <laughs> oh, God. And it's, it's scared about something to death. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, Jerry Lee and I, through his career, we would, and mine, we would send each other notes, but I had never seen him since he kissed me on the cheek that day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year to all the Farron and Scott listeners. <laughs>